Hello, this is the HatchetJob.com gaming netcast with a book review of The Dark Tourist by Dom Jolly. The premise is basically that he goes on a holiday and goes sightseeing in uh, places associated with totalitarian regimes or bad things happening. So, for example, he goes to Iran, he goes skiing in Iran. Uh, he goes on an assassination tour of the US, so he sees where Martin Luther King is shot and Kennedy. He goes to Cambodia to visit the killing fields. He goes to uh, Lebanon, which is where he grew up. The uh, site of the Chernobyl disaster, or at least the area around it, uh, North Korea. And the tone of the book is really informal. It's it's like having a conversation with a friend, where the friend, you know, he you don't want your friend to go into the deep political and, and social history of a place. And nor do you want your friend to tell you, oh, I found this great bar and then I went to this great hotel. You just want to hear what your friend did, what he thought and the adventures he went on. And that's what the book delivers. And I was laughing all, all, almost all the way through it. So, for example, he goes to Cambodia and he finds out that you can rent guns and shoot AK-47s at buses, for example. Obviously not buses with, with passengers on. I think a country would have to be much, much poorer uh, than Cambodia for that uh, to be a tourist attraction. And then he hears that you might be able to blow up a cow with an RPG, a rocket propelled grenade. So he kind of says, OK, I'll, I'll go and find out if, if, if that's true. Uh, and then he goes to North Korea. North Korea is a really weird place. One of the first things he sees is uh, people by the side of the roads uh, cutting grass with scissors. And apparently the people on the coach looked at each other to kind of say, well, you know, is this, is this really happening? Because he went on a, a, on a, a coach trip to North Korea, as one does. And he also talks about how the, ro the, the roads are empty. There's nothing, no traffic on the roads. And in fact, the, the bus they were on almost ran over a guy who was just sitting in the middle of a motorway having his lunch. But despite the road being empty, his minder, his tour guide, was really concerned that they wouldn't get involved in a, in a traffic accident. He goes to uh, Pripyat in the Ukraine, which is kind of the outlying circle of Chernobyl. And he's walking around uh, and everybody's a bit jumpy because of the radiation and you know it doesn't look like the tour guide really has a, a, a proper handle on safety procedures and so on so he's walking around and uh, he gets taken to a, uh, a children's playground with uh, bumper cars and a or, or dodgems and a ferris wheel and he said this and I immediately thought of Call of Duty 4 and the, the single player mission when you go through Pripyat and Jolly said he had a sense of deja vu there, and then he kind of turned to the guide and said, oh, "Okay, is, is that a, is that a swimming pool over there?" The guy said yes, and, and he said, "Oh, is, is that the cinema?" And, and the guide wondered if Jolly had been there before, you know, to the, the site of the Ch Chernobyl accident. And it turned out he hadn't, of course. What he had done though is he'd played Call of Duty Four, and he'd played it so much that he he'd memorized the layout of the area. And in the book, you know, Jolly says that he's walking around and he. And he, he spots an alleyway or a wall where he used to snipe from and then a, a pathway where he used to lay claymores. And it's a really good, fun, uh, engaging book. I read it over a couple of nights. Only one small quibble with it, which is that he uses a couple of phrases which sound really jarring uh, coming from somebody who's English. For example, he talks about uh, a real estate agent, but he calls it a realtor. Uh, and he talks about an aeroplane, but he calls it an airplane. And so I sent him a message on Twitter and I said, look, has, has this thing been edited by Yank? And he said, no, it hasn't. I just wrote it in context. I use those words in context. So for me, that's a bit jarring, but obviously it's the author's intention. But yeah, definitely worth checking out. So that's The Dark Tourist by Dom Jolly.